हो गया था सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मूवमेंट्स अराउंड द हिप जॉइंट ओके सो रियली कंफ्यूजिंग समटाइम्स व्हाट इज इंटरनल रोटेशन व्हाट इज एक्सटर्नल रोटेशन हाउ दे वुड बी अ फ्लेक्शन हाउ दे वुड बी एक्सटेंशन एब्डक्शन एडक्शन सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द हिप जॉइंट ओके लेट्स सी द डिफरेंट मूवमेंट्स सो व्हेन आई से हिप जॉइंट डोंट फोकस ओवर द लेग हाउ इट गोस डोंट फोकस ओवर द नी और द थाई जस्ट हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस जॉइंट हाउ इट विल मूव हाउ इट इज सपोज्ड टू मूव राइट सो फर्स्ट आई विल शो यू हियर हाउ द जॉइंट मूव्स and then i'll use some dummy models these are the dummy models of femur and the tibia i'll show you how this goes first movement we talk about the hip joint is a flexion and extension how it goes flexion and extension see this i just flex the knee so don't focus here i said don't focus over here don't focus here now see over here hip joint what is happening i am flexing the hip joint right so there is a movement over here this is flexion okay how there would be extension correct sir so this is the flexion extension would be if i take the hip joint like this this is extension so this was flexion of the hip and this is extension of the hip going back okay see there so this is flexion and extension now what is abduction and adduction adduction is moving the limb this limb towards the same the midline basically like this i'm crossing the midline this is adduction now abduction would be like this moving away from the midline this is abduction so adduction and abduction so these are two movements the flexion extension and the abduction and uh, adduction <clears throat> the most confusing movement that is internal rotation and external rotation now again i am saying now don't focus over here here or the leg focus over the joint what is internal rotation and external rotation at the hip joint now what i'll do i'll flex the hip joint and i'll use this tibia as a lever arm to rotate the head of the femur now let's see what i do flexion done and now what i do see this leg i am moving it internally i am moving the leg internally now see what happens when i move it internally what happens to the hip joint the head of the femur will be moving externally it is trying to come out of the socket so when i move the liver arm the tibia internally the head of the femur will rotate externally so this is the external rotation of the hip joint okay when i move this tibia like this externally what is happening at the hip joint the head of the femur is going into internal rotation so this is external rotation at the hip and this is internal rotation at the hip okay why we don't test the flexion this uh, rotation of the hip joint in flexion or extension because in extreme of flexion and extreme of extension the capsule is very tight so we flex the knee we flex the hip and then we check for this external rotation and internal rotation of the hip again some of you might be confused now see what is actually going to happen this is his right femur and the right tibia like this now what have i i have done i have flexed the knee joint i flexed it right i flex it and then what i do this is basically of the left side so i'll keep it here okay now what we have done on the right side i flex the knee joint and same way flex the hip joint so this was his attitude okay flex karo usko mudo so this is what we have done correct now i use this tibia as the lever arm i use this tibia as a lever arm this okay okay so this is we'll be using this tibia as a lever arm now see what happens when i move this tibia the dummy model see what will happen niche rakho when i move it externally like this when i move the tibia externally what is happening here focus on this point this is moving internally now when i move this tibia internally what happens is the head of the femur moves externally so this is just a liver don't focus over here this is internal rotation of the liver leading to external rotation of the hip joint right so i hope this is clear now now special things to be tested here the faber test and the fadel test what are those faber is flexion abduction and external rotation what is that flexion of the hip joint okay abduction of the hip joint and external rotation now what we have done when i keep the patient's leg like this completely extended leg the knee and the hip flexion at the knee at the hip abduction at the hip and leading to external rotation of the hip this is figure of four test right that is known as fabers flexion abduction and external rotation so there was a image based question 
in some last exam and with some of the students who are confused. I got this query yesterday also, what this test is trying to suggest, external rotation or internal rotation. So now we know when the liver will move internally, the hip will move externally. If the liver moves externally, the hip moves internally. So this is figure of four, right? The favor, flexion, abduction and external rotation. If still any confusion, please let me know. We'll make another video, another short video of the joint, rotation only, and we'll upload it. Thank you very much.